very good afternoon. Uh, we have the Secretary General Special Representative from Afghanistan, for Afghanistan who just briefed the Council. I think she's not going to repeat what she just said, so we'll just take a few questions. Uh, Pam Falk? Uh, yes, thank you for the briefing, um, SRSG. It's Pamela Falk from CBS News. Are there continuing talks set up with the Taliban on women's rights, and what do you make of the Taliban saying that they would like to meet with the parties involved rather than the UN envoy? So, uh, of course, we have continued talk with uh, Taliban, and uh, uh, when we talk now about the report of Mr. Feridun, the underlined that this is their internal issue. So, uh, we, uh, unfortunately, we are on diametral position. Uh, international community says it is not negotiable issue. Taliban say that it is their internal issue. So, we are uh, on different position, but we are working very hard. We have uh, a lot of instruments. We have uh, civil society on the ground, and uh, uh, I was uh, recently uh, in uh, in Jeddah on this uh, international conference, uh, uh, rights of women in Islam, and we try to impact on them by uh, uh, by Islam also. So we'll see if this uh, this will work in the long term. What, what do you interpret the internal issue being? What does that mean? What, what do you mean internal issue? Do oh, you, for, uh, what, uh, their response. Yeah. They do believe that uh, this is uh, internal issue and uh, uh, international community should, be, should not be involved into the internal affairs. That's the point. Miriam? Thank you so much. Uh, Mariam Ramadi with Afghanistan International. Um, in your speech today, in your speech today, you mentioned the madrasas again, like you, um, you mentioned it in your last speech at the Security Council. Um, this time you said you don't uh, know exactly what they are teaching in madrasas. Is it um, um, modern sciences or strictly just religious um, subjects? Um, is UN and UNAMA allowed to go and do an investigation or find out what the Taliban are exactly teaching um, the kids in these madrasas? Isn't that important and isn't that part of the UNAMA's job? Look, uh, first uh, let me tell you that uh, there is a 10 million children, as Minister of de facto Minister of Education says. There is a 10 million children who goes to their schools, but five million, they don't go anywhere, and those are uh, whom the uh, the visible children, and uh, uh, there is no schools, there is no uh, no place to go. Uh, as international organization, we aim one million, about about one million, by a community-based education. This is in very poor communities. We uh, gather uh, children and uh, teach them uh, numerology and uh, alphabet and so on. So that's uh, the beginning. But with madrasa, their aim is to. Uh, uh, teach as much as possible children. And uh, Madrasa, I was talking today with regard of girls, because we keep here that more and more girls going to, uh, to Madrasas. But very difficult to verify. Yes, this is our job to observe, to understand what's going on and so. Uh, but uh, because their uh, now direction really to uh, to put more children uh, uh, into the education, and so they found that the madrasa, this is something native. Schools, this is Western concept. So that's what they said, that's literally. Madrasas is uh, very uh, authentic, uh, native, and they want uh, children go to madrasas very difficult to get into for so far. But we want very much still, this is our aim, to learn what they are teaching uh, children in madrasas. I have one follow-up. 
Um, today at the Security Council, Shahzad Akbar mentioned it as well, but other civil society activists uh, in the past two and a half years have asked for it as well. They want the humanitarian aid to Afghanistan to be conditional. Do you agree with that? No. Do you think that should be a pressure point on Taliban to uh, ease these restrictions on women and girls? Look, I don't know, for, uh, I, I didn't hear well uh, for Shahrazad where she's from. If she lives in Afghanistan, there's a 40 million people. And uh, should we politicize assistance and give them just uh, if they would not obey Taliban? I mean, I, I think it is impossible. Today, uh, half a uh, population of uh, uh, Afghanistan is hungry. We don't have enough aid uh, for the winterization. This is very problematic. And if we we'll politicize uh, this assistance, then what? So, uh, all the children, they are malnourished. Uh, so many people jobless. Now influx of half a million from Pakistan. I, I don't see any uh, such a politicization of uh, AIDS. It is uh, absolutely not the uh, uh, right position. Thank you. Stefano, we have to go. Stefano, New York. Uh, maybe this question was asked to you before, um, but the fact that you are a woman, when you deal with the, um, Afghan, with the Taliban, uh, do you feel that your work is not taken in the serious enough or you feel that you have a special difficulty for that for being just a woman no uh, look uh, sounds like uh, uh, <laughs> i have now a bias i have my hijab so it <laughs> should wear uh, should be wear properly so it is uh, custom local customs so. And so I go to them uh, any time, whenever I ask uh, audience, so they receive us, and uh, we speak to the minister, de facto ministers, to uh, each of them. And uh, I'm from the Central Asian country, it's sort of uh, the same fabric, although we are different, of course, uh, countries in, the de in our development phase. So I don't see any problem, really. And uh, they are pragmatic, they are very, they look, uh, yes, they are uh, alumni of Madrasa, as uh, we've heard today, but so they are very pragmatical and so they, they do speak with us. So they, uh, they don't agree, uh, for example, this uh, position of envoy, which was uh, uh, um, uh, uh, suggested by Mr. Feridun. They said, look, if you would not agree and appoint such an envoy, Please don't offend if we'll not give visa to him. So, I mean, you see, they are uh, teasing us also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.